construction of three phase curial cage induction motor. In this animation, we are going to see about the construction of three phase curial cage induction motor. We are seeing dismantling view of three phase curial cage induction motor. The parts of the three phase curial cage induction motors are fan cover, fan, external non drive end bearing cap, non drive end shield, non drive end bearing cap, internal non drive end bearing cap, frame or yoke, terminal box. Terminal box adapter device, eye bolt, wound stator, squirrel cage rotor, shaft, key, internal drive end bearing cap, drive end bearing, drain, external drive end bearing cap, seal. The front end cover supports the bearings and brush assemblies. The function of bearings is to reduce friction between the rotating and stationary parts of the machine. The rotor consists of a cylindrical laminated core with parallel slots for carrying the rotor conductors. The rotor conductors are not wires but it consists of heavy bars of copper, aluminium or an alloy. The shaft is used to transfer mechanical power from or to the machine. The stator is the outer stationary part of the motor. The eye bolt is provided with the body generally on the top for lifting the machine. Yoke or frame serves as outer protective cover for the machines and supports for fixing the machine. On a piece of electric equipment, a box within which the leads from the piece of equipment are connected to the leads supplying the equipment with power, usually provided with a removable cover plate for access. A cooling fan is used to remove the heat liberated by motor. Rear end cover are usually for supports the bearing only. The heat dissipated by the motor is reduced by using the ventilator. Now we are seeing assembling view of three phase curial cage induction motor.